Hi everyone and welcome to the third and final part of our Morocco trip. In this video we drive from Azuga back up to Spain. In Azuga we stayed at a camping called Haven Le Chance. can definitely recommend that. Nice campsite with a fantastic restaurant and it's located right at the foot of the dunes. The best part about the camping was all the fellow overlanders we met there. A great bunch of people and uh, we, <laughs> we had a few late nights together. Uh, among those people were Bernd and Sabrina, a German overlanding couple that you see driving in front of us here with a fantastic looking G-Wagon professional. Together with them we set out to explore the dunes of Erg Shabby and if you want to see picture perfect dunes, Erg Shabby is the place to go. Like Erg Shigaga, absolutely stunning. one long hill where either Henry or the G-Wagon could get up. We both did countless attempts and uh, after Henry popped an intercooler hose we uh, decided it was probably better to take a detour. Even though Eric Shabby is not that big, we still managed to get lost for quite a few hours. Uh, that just shows how hard it can be to navigate in the dunes. Uh, Eric Shabby has quite tall and steep dunes and that doesn't make it really easy to get through. made it out in daylight and I think I can talk for all of us if I say we were quite relieved when we were back on track to uh, Mazuga. That evening we decided to celebrate with a decent load of beer and gin and tonic. After a day of rest we set out once again on day 10 to explore the surroundings of Mazuga. We started the day with visiting a local car museum focused on 4x4s. can definitely recommend uh, going there if you're into cars. There's quite a few interesting examples. After that we did a little driving until one of us came up with a great idea that we had to get a photo of the two cars uh, with some camels and we invested a lot of time and effort getting that done. <laughs> Do you have the tree completely on it? Uh, no, a little bit uh, of the top is Day 11 we spent mostly on the asphalt, uh, making some kilometers to get further back north. Uh, we made a stop along the way to get the spare tire repaired. The, the inner tube and that was getting very old and losing pressure so we stopped at a local shop to have that changed.
day 12 we started with doing some repairs and maintenance on Henry. What are you doing Rick? Replacing the rear transfer case flange. Or at least the one of the bolts that was broken. But luckily we had a spare flange with us. And all the tools I see. And all the tools. So uh, 10, 15 minutes then we're ready to hit the road again. I hope. Once we were back on the road, we set course for Cirque de Afar, a very famous uh, road for the Atlas Mountains. Unfortunately, Morocco had been dealing with heavy floods in the weeks before, and uh, part of the road had washed away, and it was really impossible to cross. Nevertheless, we still had a fantastic day of driving in, in that area. Just before leaving for Morocco, I changed Henry's transfer case for one with an extra low, low ratio. And that really paid on off on this rocky track. Uh, the crawler gears made it possible to get over the rocks in a controlled manner and it just made the car a lot easier to drive. from some local uh, hunters we eventually found our way to our destination which was Agudim a small village high up in Atlas Mountains In Agudim we found a very cute little family run hostel where they made us a fantastic dinner and we spent the night. The next day we had a long day of driving to get us to Mohammedia, which is located on the west coast of Morocco. The route led us through the Atlas Mountains with some stunning views and on the way we crossed the mountain village Ilmajil, which is located at an altitude of 2200 meters and is definitely worth visiting.
routes are plenty of points worth stopping to just take a second and enjoy the view. After a fantastic adventure of around two weeks, we had arrived in Mohammedia, back into civilization. From there we drove to Tanger in about two days. From Tanger, Levine flew home and I took the ferry together with Henry to get him back to Spain. Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of Henry and adventures we go on.